they dropped a new trailer for the most anticipated game ever. Full stop. Full stop. Are you ready? The most amazing game we've yet to play. X Defiant. <laughs> this is X Defiant, a free-to-play competitive shooter featuring fast-paced gunplay complemented with specialized factions. So, what are the factions? Our factions are all drawn from iconic Ubisoft worlds and represent distinct classes, each with unique abilities. It does look very COD-like. Very much so. Even down to the fonts used. It's very, very similar. Wasn't this one that they announced and then they like, <laughs> they had a release date pretty soon and the response was so negative that people backtracked and they, they like delayed it indefinitely. Wasn't that a thing? Or am I thinking of a different game that Ubisoft also announced? I think it was this one. Like it got teased into oblivion. And Ultras, you can choose any character from any faction to assemble your team of six players. And during the game, you can change your faction or loadout to adapt your strategy. For your loadout, choose from a large arsenal of weapons and attachments to customize and fit your playstyle. At its core, X Defiant features realistic gunplay and the fun, familiar mechanics of an arena shooter. I will say they're leaning heavily, heavily into that Call of Duty movement. You can see that they're, they have people bunny hopping. They have people doing the, the toggle crouch thing constantly. Like they're definitely trying to appeal, appeal to those players, which I mean, it's not a bad idea. I just don't know how this game takes over Call of Duty, you know? Um, the only way I think, and this is something that's brought, been brought up a bunch with like the Sony stuff with Activision. Everybody's like, well, just make your own Call of Duty. It's not that simple. Even if you have a game that's like one-to-one -one comparable to Call of Duty, as far as I'm aware, the only way you'll eventually take on Call of Duty is if you release that game probably at a loss for like five years straight. If you can absorb that blow, you'll be okay. But like the only way to do it is, is to just release it at a loss to try and gain market share. Because day one, X Defiant's not going to be making money, I guarantee you. Especially if you're trying to go global and trying to have global infrastructure of servers and stuff. It's not going to make money. So you'll have to do this, and then next year you release the next version, and you just slowly try to climb your way up the ladder. And that's just super expensive. And that, that's why Sony doesn't really want to do it if they don't have to. Ubisoft tries to do it, but they always release one attempt, and then they bail. So... <clears throat> I don't know. I think they're looking for that Apex money more than go against COD. Maybe Apex was just, it was freakishly polished and it was fresh and different. And the perhaps most important thing is that it came out of freaking nowhere. Like you guys remember, nobody knew Apex was a thing. There were like rumors of a Titanfall themed battle royale, but it like dropped Fully, I, I don't think there was even an announcement. I, If I recall correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they just released it. Didn't it just launch one day? And people were like, oh my God, there's a new Titanfall Battle Royale out. What? Just dropped like right now? Yeah, they hired some streamers to play it for a, a few days. And it became the talk of the town. And that right there, that word of mouth did way more. And and furthermore... um. <laughs> it reminds me of that the thing from you know the the chess memes recently the chess speaks for itself in this case the game speaks for itself if the game is good enough i think an audience can find it so long as you don't mire yourself in pr muck like lawbreakers if you recall lawbreakers that whole thing with cliff blazinski the guy that was one of the creators of um gears of war he came out and released this game lawbreakers that crowby cat did a video on and it basically just flopped because everybody just thought that it was effectively overwatch but with a zero gravity mechanic and they kind of leaned into that but by that point they're already playing catch up because they've already framed this thing as well it's just a different version of blizzard's game and at that point what are you doing what are we doing it's just a mess. So um, 
yeah, Cliffy B killed that game by being obnoxious. I think that was it. I agree. He released it at 40 bucks and then was like, see, none of that $60 multiplayer only bullshit. Everyone's like, but you initially announced it as free to play and then you backtracked and released it as a, a $40 title. Like, come on, dude. I get it. It's not easy to make money. But again, that's another example of like when you have these franchises and these devs that are gar gigantuan, gargantuan, gargantuan, gigantuan. What is that? Gargantuan, like Blizzard or Activision. They release something out of nowhere. It'll probably be a very successful game no matter what, because they just they have so much like social cachet from their reputation as game developers and publishers. But for Ubisoft or for Cliff Studio, for any of these guys to come in and try to take on those those guys, once in a blue moon, they might get lucky and have an Apex Legends situation, but people kind of need to make their own luck. And in his case, I think he talked way too much. I think if Lawbreakers just dropped out of nowhere one day, it would have stood a better chance than everything that they they did. Have a look, Boundary. Remind me in a moment, Sonny, when we uh, get through this. Each battle will take place on one of our 14 starting maps. Play casual matches and have fun with players of all types and skills, where every match delivers an unpredictable and unique experience. Or play Crazy fast TTK too. Play ranked mode in competitive matchups against your peers to push yourself further and see what you're truly made of, whether you're a beginner or ready to dominate the game. X Defiant is free with crossplay, so jump in with your friends across platforms. And as a live game with fresh new content every single season, X Defiant will continue to deliver an accelerating experience that will always be free to play and never pay to win. Ubisoft, it's taken them 10 years to figure out that's what people want. <laughs> free to play, not pay to win. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's just so funny though. They're like, oh, is that what people want? Why did no one tell us? <laughs> oh man. Jack Frag's got his hands on it. Oh, that's not good, is it? I think I'm right behind him here. Oh yeah. There's one. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Nice little quad kill there to start things off. That's not bad. And welcome guys well played, to Jack. X Defiant. So I've just, eh, I've just been given access to this a little play test for about an hour. And this is a new free to play first person shooter game from Ubisoft. And it's basically Ubisoft COD. That's how I describe it. And you've got all sorts of different classes from Ubisoft franchises. Like I can go stealth with this guy here. I'll be real. It looks pretty tight. It out. looks pretty tight. I don't, I, until you play a game like this, you don't know. Um, it could look really good, but then when you get your hands on it, it's really floaty. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I would like a competitor COD. I, I would like it. I, like I would try this, especially being free to play that, that like super tight gameplay of COD is something that's so hard to replicate though. Like even Battlefield has struggled to to keep that up, especially recently. My goodness, I've played it and movement it's smooth. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks tight. I don't know how to describe it other than it's super responsive. It seems like the the hit boxes and bullet reg is is really good. I could see my fear with these like different class based like shooters um, with different abilities and things is that sometimes if it's not perfectly balanced there's an exploit that's discovered super quickly and what game was i playing um oh it was when we were playing the finals that newer shooter the finals is like totally broken with the little guys that can run around with the invisibility cloak thing and daggers like it's totally broken it's not even slightly fun when you run into somebody using that i don't know if you guys played that but the rest of the game was great, but the moment you encountered the guy with the invisibility cloak and the, the dagger, it was just broken. It, it felt so toxic, but that was something I don't think they realized until they got a ton of people in there that were playing the game and 
then tell them, hey, this is broken as hell. Similar to COD and fun, Sony entered the stream. Dude, imagine if Sony comes along and like pays to make this an exclusive with uh with Ubisoft. Can you imagine? They're like, oh, this is this'll be our COD. We'll partner with Ubisoft. Dude, that would be crazy. If the player numbers are really good, I could totally see them doing that. I could totally see them trying that. Although in that Microsoft Activision Blade uh, Blade Steel goes through, I guess we won't have to play for COD anymore. Yeah, th I mean, it's true. Um, it'll be in the game or in a uh, game pass. I think it like they'll still charge for like all of the extra packs and the the extra cosmetics and you know everything that you can buy through microtransactions now will still be a thing, but. <clears throat> The full like sixty dollar whatever for the multiplayer won't be, won't be charged. I think that'll be free. Different tape on it there too. You guys were saying this is made by a bunch of COD devs. This AK here, like former COD devs. No, I don't think I've. No, I'm not even level two. But yeah, I want to show you this as well. Look, mastery camos. So you do bronze, silver, and gold. So if you're into grinding the camos, you can do that. I oh, play as dead sec this time. Oh, Watchdogs, Spiderbot. Right, this AK. Oh, that's one of the cleaners from the division. Nice. Oh, this is Vector. I've not unlocked this yet. Oh, that kills really quick. Wow, that was fast. Get a little flank on here. Oh. No, my aim was off there. I think this is kind of like hard point. Damn, this thing shr- Oh, I'm dead. Guys, this is a travesty. Look, I found a slide, but you can't go up it or down it. What's going on? That would be fun, actually. That would be low key oh, really fun. My team, mate. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, it looks good. We're going to call, you know, Ubisoft out when stuff they put out looks like hot dog water. And then when they use something good, we'll, we'll give them uh, praise for that. Because this actually looks decent. It doesn't look bad. <laughs> He took my thing.